All right, <clears throat> here's a little ditty on the torch. Uh, let's see. Here it is, pretty much put together. What I did is I took a Harbor Freight pencil torch. That's what this body came from. Took the torch tip off of it and threaded that hole out to an M61 thread. That's what fits the standard MIG welding tip, which means you can change sizes anything from, I believe, 0 0.025 inches to, I believe they have up to 0 0.050s, things like that, but at least to a 0 0.035 is what I have on, on hand. Uh, the actual torch itself, the body, you cut the end of it off uh, where you fill the butane up and there's a little small piece of foam that you remove from inside the body. When I get my uh, bronze wool, fine bronze wool, I'll fill the body up with that. This piece here is a Harbor Freight, or not a Harbor Freight, a Home Depot special. You find it in the air compressor section. It is right here. It's a Husky. It's a quarter inch full port ball valve. On the end of that is this piece here. It's a quarter inch uh, uh, barb fitting to quarter inch FIP fitting. So you put those three together, actually four pieces together, and voila, there you go. Not too difficult. You do have to tap this out to quarter inch pipe thread, which two Harbor Freight kits do real nice. Here's the M61 uh, tap. And then here is the quarter inch NPT uh, pipe die. That's pretty much all it is. Uh, here's the packaging for the barb fitting. As you can see, it's right there. Home Depot. These two items will be added to the torch setup after the bubbler. It's a uh, PCV valve, one way valve. No, it won't stop a flashback or anything, but it'll help suppress it. As flashback goes past it, it'll it'll close the valve off and at least create something of a suction pressure to keep it from damaging the bubbler too badly. But the bubbler will stop it completely. But I haven't had any uh, flashbacks since I've been stuffing the torch with uh, fine bronze wool, so I don't suppose that it's going to have a problem. I'm also going to put a fuel filter in it. One to keep the moisture down from getting into the torch. Two, it's going to be after this piece, so if there is a flashback, it's going to go through the PCV valve. The PCV valve is going to close. Then it's going to have to make it through a fuel filter before it gets to the bubbler. Pretty much not going to happen. So, we'll uh, talk to you guys later once I get it up and running.